All right, guys, make sure you have paper, notebook, and pencil out for today's notes. So today we're talking about segment, addition, algebraic, but also descriptive. All right. So in these problems, you don't get the line segment, right? They're describing the line segment, and it's up to you to draw the line segment, do short plus short equals long, and solve for x, right? So as, equal, as we can see here, again, we're remembering that short plus short is equal to long. And we also remember that we are solving for x. We are solving for the variable, right? So let's look our, at our first example here. So it says points A and B are collinear points A, B, and C, as a matter of fact, not just A and B, right? Are collinear. Point B is between A and C, right? or it is on segment A and C, right? So when we write that out, right? It is on segment, point B is on segment A, C. This is our long segment, A, C. And B is on that segment. There's B right there. So, we write out our setup, right? So we know it's short plus short equals long. So AB is the first short, plus BC is the second short, is equal to AC, which is the long segment. So now let's use the information that they give us in the problem to fill that in. So it says find X if BC is equal to 2x plus 48. Well, where's BC? There it is. 2x plus 48 equals, what else do we have? AC, ooh, highlighter, highlighter. AC is equal to 78. Okay, well, AC is the long segment, 78. So, finally, they give us AB is equal to 51 plus X. So, AB is equal to, plus here, 51 plus X. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to solve for X, right? Okay, so we draw our line of separation. Right? We draw our equal. So I know that these x's here are together. Right? So I'm going to write them together. Look, x plus 2x. I know that 51 and 48 are together. So I'm going to write them together. 51 and 48 are together. So now it's easy. x plus, x plus 2x is... 3x, 51 plus 48 is a positive 99. So now this means that I need to bring 99 over this way. And I do that by crossing it out and doing minus 99 like that. And now a positive 78 and a negative 99 are not the same signs. So 99 minus 78 is... 21. 21. Now I still have this 3x here. I'll write it over here so it could be next to my 21 here. And I know that 3x means 3 times x. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing by 3. So x is equal to 21 divided by 3 is 7. And there you go. Look at that. Right? So they said find x, right? 
find x was our goal, and we definitely found x. x is equal to 7. Perfect. There's the first example. Okay, so let's do our second example here. All right, let's pick a different color here. Let's go to the second page. Okay, points T, U, and V are collinear. And collinear means that the points are on the same line. Right? And we know that point U is in between T and V, or point U is on T and V. So our segment, long segment is T to V. And we know that point U is in between T and V, or it is on TV, right? Not to, it's on this segment right here. So I'll just put it right here. U is on TV. So let's set up, let's do our setup. So our first short segment is TU. Our second short segment is UV. And our long segment is T, V. All right. So let's substitute now. What do they give us? What information do they give us in the problem? Well, we know we need to find X. Right. If T U is equal to forty nine, T V is equal to eighteen X minus seventy six, and U V is equal to 4x plus 13. So let's fill in our information here. Let's see. Tu, Tu is 49. So I'm going to say 49 here plus uv. uv is 4x plus 13. So 4x plus 13 is equal to TV, TV is 18x minus 176, 18x minus 176. So look at that. Let's draw our line of separation here. And a little lower here. And our goal is to find x. But I have x's on this side and I have x's on this side. So I'm going to bring the x's together. I'm going to bring this 4x that way. So I'm going to cross out this positive 4x and I'm going to write negative 4x here. Right. But I notice, look, this 49 and 13 are like terms because they're both just regular numbers. right? So they're like terms because they're both just regular 49 and regular 13. They're both just regular numbers. So 49 plus 13 is 62. I only have 62 left there on the left side. 18 minus 4 is 14x, right? And I still have minus 176 here. Like that. So that means that my x is going to be on the right here, right? So that means that I need to bring this minus 176 over this way. So I'm going to cross out minus 176 and I'm going to add. 176. So using my calculator, I'm going to say 62 plus 176 is equal to 238. 200, what's going on here? No. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We had a technical difficulty there. My darn Apple Pencil ran out of juice here. So let's erase there, erase there. 
and actually I'm glad that happened because look what's happening here I accidentally wrote X here well I still have 14 X so this is a plus and 160 176 plus 62 actually you know what this is this isn't even written wrong so let's write it better so I have 62 here and 176 that's better I don't need the plus part but I mean the so that gives me 238 and I still have 14 times X right that's what it means so the op opposite of multiplying by 14 is dividing by 14 so I'm left with X and I use my trusty calculator here 238 divided by 14 is equal to 17 and I have solved for X and that was the goal find X and there ladies and gentlemen we have the notes for video lesson for segment addition algebraic descriptive